Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Josh Cripps, and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. Today on Pro Photo Tips, I'm going to show you how you can take a photo that looks like this straight out of your camera and turn it into this inside of five minutes. That's right. It's a before and after Photoshop walkthrough. Let's dive in because we don't got any time to waste. Okay, now forgive me for talking quickly, but we got a lot to get through inside of five minutes. First things first, make sure you guys are always shooting raw. It gives you the most latitude when you're post-processing. Now this photo, I want to tell you about it really, really quickly. It was taken on top of a place called Table Mountain outside of Jamestown, California, which is pretty close to where I live. Now, when I shot it, I used a couple of graduated ND filters to darken the sky relative to the foreground. The other thing I did is I shot it at f16 to create these kind of light beams here coming out of the sun. And they're a little bit indistinct because the sun was setting through this haze. Otherwise, they'd be nice and sharp. And lastly, you'll notice that the photo is quite dark. I deliberately underexposed it because I wanted to capture as much highlight detail around the sun as possible. So first things first is I'm going to go ahead and brighten this sucker in ACR just by pulling up the exposure a fair bit and then pulling my highlights back down so that I don't blow them out. Okay, something like that. All right, looking at my other global adjustments, let's add a little bit of clarity for local contrast, a dash of saturation, and a dash of paprika. Uh, I mean, uh, vibrance, yeah. Okay, let's move on over to the next tab. This sucker is looking a little flat overall, so let's, you know what, let's skip that for now. I'm gonna come back to that. I'm not gonna worry about these other tabs other than to make sure my chromatic aberration is checked. When it comes to landscape photos, one thing that you can do to get the classic landscape look is to make sure your foreground is nice and bright relative to your sky. And looking at this, the brightness value looks pretty good overall. Maybe this top part of the sky is a little dark. So first of all, let me go ahead and grab, grab a graduated filter, zero out all these adjustments here, and I'm gonna brighten up that sky a tiny bit, just starting there, and add a little bit of contrast as well, maybe a little bit brighter just to get a kind of even exposure across the sky. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and add a new graduated filter and brighten up that foreground. Click and drag to make that happen. I'm gonna brighten that up more, 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 and add a little contrast so it doesn't look washed out. This is where you can really get that classic landscape look is when your foreground is bright relative to your sky. Okay, now we've got a good thing happening there, good balance. You can see it slid my histogram way up, but I've lost quite a bit of darks within the photo. So let me go back to my global adjustments. And now I'm gonna jump on my tone curve and just add a little bit of global contrast to help this sucker pop a little bit more. Okay, fantastic. That's nice and poppy. It's rated, uh, created a couple of issues though. One, the photo overall looks a little bit orange to me. So let me go ahead and slide down that white balance to get something like this. I think that looks much more natural here in the foreground. Maybe the sky is a little bit too magenta. Let me go ahead and grab another graduated filter, zero those suckers out, add a little bit of green, drag that from top to bottom, maybe a little more green. That looks fantastic. Back to the global adjustments. What else can we do? Maybe this center part of the horizon is a little bright. Grab an adjustment brush, zero out the green adjustment, pull my exposure down, tiny little bit, add a touch of contrast, slide that sucker from left to right. Mm -hmm. And let's do another one to bring it down a little bit more right in there. And I think that looks pretty darn good. Okay, now I think the top of my sky is starting to look a little dark. So let me go back to my graduate filters, click on this one. I'm going to brighten it up yeah, just a little bit more. Fantastic. That looks absolutely great. I think overall we're looking really sweet. And the last thing I want to do is get rid of this little lens flare right here. So let me go ahead and open this uh, as an image into Photoshop by clicking holding shift and clicking that open image. As it reads a raw camera format, boom, there's our image. Okay, sweet. So the best way to get rid of this is go ahead and just select your lasso tool by hitting L. Ooh boy, you guys tired yet? Let's draw a nice little line around this thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit shift F5, which brings up the fill dialog box. You can use content aware, click enter, and goodbye lens flare. Let's zoom back out. You know what, maybe that sky's looking a little too bright, so let's add a curves adjustment layer. We're just gonna drag it down a little bit and drag up so we don't lose our highlight detail. Maybe a little more. Hit G for gradient tool. I'm gonna drag it from top to bottom just to make sure it only affects my sky. And voila, there's the final image. What does the before look like? That. Oh my goodness, what a difference. Let's drag that sucker over so we can pop it on and off. How did we go from this to this in five minutes? Well, rewind the video and watch it again if it was too fast. It was almost too fast for me. My brain could hardly keep up. So if you want to see more of these walkthrough videos in a slower, more comprehensive 
and explanatory pace. You can go ahead and check out uh, this link here on my website. I've got a couple of walkthroughs where I go through uh, my raw processing and everything else that I do to make a final image. Like for example, this one is actually three exposures shot back to back to back using different settings, light painting and that sort of stuff to get this final image. How the heck did I do that? Click on the link here to find out. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. If you would like to see your photo edited in five minutes, Go ahead and join the Pro Photo Tips group on Facebook and post it there. You can find a link in the description down below. Or if you want to receive all kinds of awesome exclusive content, including assignments that you can do to make your photography better, click on this link here to join my newsletter. Thanks a lot, you guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.